hello so it's not a weekend but i figured i would post this anyway um my heart rate and blood pressure being a little more unstable than usual tonight and from with postural changes so i figured i would uh show those a little bit uh, i just i've been sitting down for a few minutes now and i just tested it my blood pressure is uh 136 over 102 my heart rate is 84. i will show you the device i'm using just so you know what i'm talking about um, I have a wrist monitor to track this, and so it's uh, the brand Rely On. And uh, my this, I'm not really sure what this little scale means, but mine was in the red zone when I took this. Um, this will tell you the blood pressure here, and then the heart rate here. If it detects uh, ir irregular heartbeats, it will display this little symbol and beep a few times after it's done testing. Uh, did, it's it's like forty dollars, I believe. I got it at Target or Walmart, one of the two, and. Um, you uh, put it on your wrist, and you have to have you have to have your arm bent and your wrist like level to your heart. So if I was going to hold this back a little bit, I would test it like sitting like this. And so, um, it was 130 over. I think it's like a 130 over something. So I'm gonna put it back on, and I'm going to stand up and walk around for a few seconds just to get it to <laughs> respond a little bit more and then okay I feel I feel it a little bit now and so when I, I put it on upside down I have to fix that uh, so this is a good place for this okay I have to put it on the right way first of all um, so the results from sitting to standing are usually actually pretty fast so let's turn it back on in you can hear it tightening here. It's counting up as it's doing this. So, as it's tightening, it only takes a, like, less than, less than a minute. It's actually pretty fast. And once it's obtained the information it needs, it will release, like, much like a arm cuff. I just think this is easier to use than an arm cuff because I could never get it straightened the right way because you have to have it lined up a certain way on your arm. And this is just easier to me. There's the beeping. Okay. So, right now, my heart, my blood pressure is 132 over 96. So that didn't actually change very much. Although it went from the red range to the orange range. So that got better, whatever that is. My heart rate is now 110. And it's irregular. And so the act from standing up has made my... Well, usually my blood pressure reacts a little bit more than that, so I'm a little surprised it didn't. But um, my heart rate went up from like 70 something to 110, so that's um, 30 point range or above. And the criteria for POTS is the heart rate changing, uh, going up 20 points, I believe it is. So I <laughs> went over that a few minutes ago when I did this. It was my blood pressure dropped about 15 points, and my heart rate uh, jumped up 40 points. And so it's a little bit different each time um, as to how exactly it relaxes. I'm trying to get my cat off of here. <laughs> um, how exactly it re reacts. But you can see just from those numbers there that uh, just generally what, uh, how, this, how the autonomic nerve system reacts to me standing up. It is just generally unstable and can't quite figure itself out. And so when I stand up, my like my body goes, oh my gosh, you're standing up. I have to respond really quick and it kind of overcompensates and so I just wanted to give that example there just to show you uh, kind of the ridiculousness that I deal with my heart rate and my blood pressure every single day and why I have to watch postural changes because if I am um, the longer I stand um, I there the, the blood leaves my head a little bit because my body can't respond to gravity very well and so gravity pulls some of the blood out of my head and while I have never felt like I was going to actually pass out from sitting to standing. I have nearly fainted from lying down to standing. And so it's more when I get up in the morning that I have to watch how quickly I stand up. Usually I have to go from lying down to sitting for a little bit and then I stand up. Um, but yeah, if I if I had kept walking around after that, because I stood up quickly um, to demonstrate that, but I would have... Uh, Felt increasing uh, dizzy symptoms. Uh, I can feel my heart rate increasing. Generally, that's what I was feeling I was, when I decided I could take it again. I was feeling uh, 
feeling a little bit of dizziness and lightheadedness and I could feel my heart rate increasing. And so that's just an example there. I will post a regularly scheduled video again this weekend. Uh, I just, it doesn't usually react quite this much um, on a normal day. So I figured I would share it with you all. So I will see you on the weekend.